How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with some more Python code, and we are still working with the end curses and curses and unit curses library and module. All right. Now, in this video, I'm going to be introducing you guys to attributes, and attributes are decorations. You know, they're they're, they're ornaments. They're ornaments on the Christmas tree. They don't have to be there. They don't have to be on the Christmas tree. But they look nice, you know? <laughs> Alright, so attributes, what they do is they emphasize text, or they emphasize the characters and the things that you display onto the screen. So if I went ahead and just added a string that says, you know, hello world, baby, my baby world, my baby is my world, get character, and you ran all that stuff, I'll run the program that has that in it, curse02. And it says, hello world, and there it is. Alright, it looks pretty friggin' whatever. I mean, it's nothing special, just regular text. Who gives a poop? So what we can do is we can run Atron. And isn't that an awesome name? Like, dude, Atron? Alright. Atron, or A-T-T-R on, or attribute on, will turn on an attribute. And what that will do is it will allow you to use the add string function and the add ch function to uh, like add a character or anything that will sort of display onto a screen and then it will automatically set it up with an attribute that you already have set up now attributes may be like having bold text or having underlined text or having um, text that is in reverse color or maybe it'll stand out a little bit more or maybe it'll be um, bright or maybe it'll uh, like it'll keep flashing on and off it'll keep blinking that sort of thing and that's kind of cool so you have atron to turn on an attribute like a bold and you have a trough or atroff or atra off whatever however you want to think about it and I'm going to just turn that on right there, so it'll display it, it'll display the code with that attribute on, and then it'll display, again, anything that we want with the attribute off. So I'll go ahead and run the code, and boom, you can see that it's a little bit brighter now, but maybe that's not too convincing. Let's actually show it to you again with the attribute off. Hello world! And hello world is right there. You can see that it's a little bit uh, off there. If I had a new line character, I wonder if it'll actually display that. Will it do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you can see hello world up there is just a tiny bit brighter, and it stands out more than hello world down there. And for some colors, or for some setup with the with the shell, this is actually going to alter what the color looks like. If, with white, you don't see it so much, but with maybe pink or with purple, your magenta might look a little bit more like a lavender, you know? And it, you'll have some really... You're, you're limited in your in your canvas colors, but you're still... You can still be creative and, like, sort of devise what color might represent something in your game or in your, in your code or whatever you're doing. So, there it is with Atron, and you can set up, like... Atroff reverse, dude, and like Atron. So reverse, what that's gonna do? Let's uh, let's look at this here. You can see that um, it swapped the foreground and background colors. So right now the background is black for everything, and the text is white. But you can see up in the front line, the background is white and the text is black, right? <laughs> so it reverses the order of the foreground and the background. That's kind of cool, and that works just the way that it needs to. Now, add string or add character or any of the any of the other add blah 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 functions actually will take an optional parameter to throw in an argument that I'm sorry, an, an optional parameter to throw in an attribute. And that is an argument blah blah blah. So, you can see right down there atra equals no use right now, but we can set that up to equal let's say a bold so even though this is turning the attri the attribute reverse on right up here, because we're specifying in this function, no, we want to use a bold instead, that is going to not use the reverse. Let's let's take a look at this. If I run it, it's bold and it's not reversed. But if I were to run another add string line without supplying that argument, you can see that it will be reverse because that's the argument that that's the attribute that we have turned on in that moment, and it's off right down here, so there's no decoration there. 
So there are lots of different attributes. You can see if you do A underscore, they're always going to have that, that syntax. And you can hit control space if you're an idle to see, okay, we can use blink, we can use bold, we can use color, we can dim, invisible, uh, normal, which is no effect, A protect, A reverse, A stand out, A underline, blah, 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 blah. Now, some of these in different terminals or in different shells may have different results. So you kind of have to test and play around with what will work and what won't work inside your environment. And if you're, de if you're designing for uh, a different sort of platform or system that you're not actually able to test on right now, you kind of have to just guess, which sucks, but hey. That's that's just what it is for being a programmer and stuff. So yeah, experiment around, look at all these different attributes that you can turn on and off, whether or not be like text decorations, and you can manipulate them with the at on, at off, and uh, supplying them as an argument to any of the add string or um, add ch character uh, function calls. So you can see them right there. There it is with underline. You can mix, like, reverse and things in there, I think. So you should have plenty of options here and some stuff to play with and tinker around with. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is just a pretty simple explanation of how you can use them. I am leaving it up to you guys for letting you know where and when you can use them. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you later in another tutorial.